Hello everyone and welcome to Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Today I'd like to continue taking a look at the Flex Control Panel and this time showing you how to set and recall Switcher Mem presets using this wonderful little device. Now Switcher Mem presets are nine different bins that you can use with your main switcher or your mix effects to arrange and save different layouts and quickly recall them allowing you to create numerous combinations and then control them with just a few touches of the button on the flex control panel. So, let me show you how it's done, son! All right, so I have my TriCaster 2 Elite interface up and my flex control panel here on my desk assigned to that TriCaster 2. So let's bring those together and start playing around with switcher memory presets. Now, a quick review on this, switcher memory presets are nine different presets for you to choose from that will save the current state of the uh, switcher that you're on, whether it's your main switcher or your mix effects. So let me show you how to do that first on the uh, interface side of things. So to access them, you would take your mouse, go to the very far left corner, and you see this blue carrot here, if I hover over that, here comes my memory presets. So what that will do is it will save whatever's on uh, on my particular preset here uh, is on my, uh, it'll save where my program is, where my preview is, what's on my downstream keyers, uh, whether that downstream keyers are on or off screen, etc. Okay, so uh, when you're switching between those, it won't observe the transition between those, it will just snap to it, okay? So keep that in mind when doing these. Now, if I wanted to save my current preset, which right now as I have mix effect number one is on my program, input number three is on preview, and then my downstream keyers uh, one and two are set to buffer one and buffer two. Okay, we're just gonna play with those uh, today. So to save that, I would go on the interface here and click this little snapshot, and boom, there it is. So if I say accidentally go through and go, oh no, I hit the wrong button, I need to fix this. Like, I just click on that again, and it just takes my switcher back to where it was. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete this from the interface and let me show you how to do that on the flex itself. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you're on the uh, correct uh, stripe that you want to be working with. And in this particular example right now, I'm going to be using my main switcher row. So uh, just to verify that, let's go ahead and zoom in and I'm going to hold down the stripe button. And if I zoom out, I can say, yep, I indeed am on my main mixer here. Cool, good to go. And then right next to the stripe button, this is where we're gonna be playing around with today. So you would hold down mem like this, and if I back up again, you'll see that I have, these are my nine different bins that will show up here. So the bottom row, this is what will allow you to save or overwrite uh, what is on that particular mem. The green row is gonna be how you recall it, and then the red row up top is how you would delete it, okay? So let's go ahead and go back into the interface and show you in real time how this works. So uh, for example, I'm gonna save the one that we did earlier here. So I'm gonna say, hold down mem, and then hold the yellow, press the yellow button, and boom, there's my first mem, good to go. So now just to show you that I can change the different configurations of this and also the state of your downstream keyers, let me just go ahead and I'm gonna swap my program and preview. And then on my downstream keyer number one, let's go and select buffer number three instead, which is a little live bug. And let's go ahead and bring that on screen like so. There we go, so we got live concert footage, hooray. Okay, so now I wanna save that preset, and again, I'll hold down mem, and this time I'm gonna to go to the number two, and hit the yellow button there, and now that is saved. Okay, so now let's switch back to our original setup, and keep your eye on what's on the program and preview, and also the state of my downstream keyer number one. So doing that, you see it's switches the source of my downstream keyer number one, and then also switches the state in which I had my program and preview rows. And if I go back to that like this, and hit two, there we go. It brings that downstream keyer on, but again, just brings it on, it just got a straight cut to it. So keep that in mind whenever you're moving back and forth between those. Now on the main switcher row, that you probably might not be using that as much uh, in case, well, you might, who knows, you know? But where this comes in really handy is going to be on the uh, upstream, uh, on your um, uh, mix effects. So let's go ahead and bring up mix effect number two on my program here. 
and let's put it on preview as well and we'll start to mess around with this okay so uh first thing if you want to save this particular shot we're going to need to make sure that we are in the right stripe if i just start pressing the mem button now that's just going to start messing with my uh program and preview rows and we don't want to do that so i'm going to hold down uh stripe assign that to my mix effect number two all right, you see that my colors on my flex change. And then if I go to mem here, you'll see that I already have a few of those already lined up. So same thing. And what's nice about this is I can also save virtual camera positions. So for example, right now, uh, within this set, I can say zoom out. Oh, what's that? Zooms in. No, the other way. There we go. So we got a super wide shot like that. And if I want to save that, I'll go to mem. And let me just save that over to, actually, let me bring this up on screen so you can see my other presets, like so. All right, so I'm going to save this over to 9, which is my super wide shot here. All right, so put that on 9. And then if I hit 1, this will go back to my original save state that I had here. So that'll just do a quick punch in and not a transition out. All right, and then go back to that. And then you'll also notice that my downstream keyers, those weren't changed, but if I wanted to, I could go through and change those as well. Um, and then, uh, like for example, let's go to what I have on number five when I have all my downstream keyers on, because this one's just fun and goofy. Uh, like so, bam, we got a bunch of them now. All right, now what's cool about this is, I know this is kind of a silly example, but it gives you an idea of how you can do this. All of my upstream keyers changed and they're all on screen. Let's go ahead and take them off because that is goofy. There we go. Uh, and now, uh, but what's awesome about this is I'm currently only in one virtual set, but I can load in another virtual set into one of these comps. So for example, if I wanted to, uh, like say, put uh, our subject in a completely different virtual set and save that somewhere, like for example, number three, I can do that. So it allows you to save different virtual sets to these mem slots as well, which gives you a ton of power when managing your mix effects. Turn them into virtual sets, turn them into mixers, it's up to you, all right? But some really awesome things you can do using mems, and I highly recommend playing around with it. And of course, have some fun! There you have it, another awesome way to use the Flex Control Panel. Now for more tutorial videos like this one, subscribe to the New Tech YouTube channel at youtube.com slash newtechinc. And for formalized New Tech product training, make sure to check out New Tech University at newtech.com slash newtech u. And for more information on the Flex Control Panel and other New Tech products and services, contact your local New Tech partner or visit our website, newtech.com. And if you are posting your work with New Tech products on social media, tag us using the hashtags NewTek, TriCaster, or 3Play. We love, love, love seeing what you are all working on. That's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for another episode of Tuesday Tutorials.